Hello, hello YouTube, hello Stimit, Shaman Garbat, your captain here with my copilot Sunny Life. And today we have a flight I will show you on the map. We are in Nürba in Yakutia and we're flying to Mirni, which is also in uh, Yakutia. So you see here in the map the whole Asia and then uh, in the middle of Yakutia there is, there is this uh, little town Nürba. And I'm zooming into Mirni, Mirni, the diamond town, gold town. There is a little, uh, there's a very big hole in the middle of the town, the airport directly beside it. And that's our destination for today. So let's get started. So do we have something to check? Okay, good afternoon, Stimius. This is uh, Sunny Life. I'm trying to be a co pilot again and uh, we'll bring you to another uh, airport, Murney. Compass check, Captain. I will check the compass now. That's good. Flaps check. I'm checking the compass at the moment. So we have a magnetic variation of 13 degree and I will adjust the compass now. Okay. Compass checked. That's good. Flaps check. Two flaps are set, yeah. That's good. Lights check. Okay, bacon, nuff lights, strobe, and landing light is checked. That's good. So we're ready to go. I'm setting the throttle to 100%, waiting for the engines coming up. So the engines are running and then loose the brakes and let's go. Let's go, Stimians. We have again the very, very big aircraft Antonov 22, Ante. That's a very big uh, transport aircraft. It's the biggest um, propeller driven aircraft in the world since the 50s. So it's an old aircraft, but uh, completely restorated. So that's um, no problem at all for us. We just uh, get a little problem with the startup because the runway is not so long, but at any moment we take off now. <coughs> that's good, let's go. We are in the air. <coughs> And now the first uh, seconds are a little bit difficult. I have to try to get more speed without falling down. <coughs> what was the noise, Captain? The noise is the gear warning because we are below 100 meter, but that's uh, going away if we are, <coughs> if now it's going away. We are high enough now. Okay, and what is the altitude at this moment, Captain? My altitude is 1,800 feet. Is this correct? Uh, mine is 830, 53 I can see that we're going uh, up. The altitude is uh, almost 1,500 feet at this moment and heading 51. So I have set m <coughs> my automatic uh, flight system now to the heading of the runway and uh, to 3,000 feet. We will correct this later when we are stable in the altitude. That's good, no problem at all. And I can see you're still uh, coming up. From my screen right here, it's so nice, so green, it's so beautiful. Come up, Stinians, you got to try what I'm doing right here because it's, it's really cool. 
So gears and flaps are in now. Landing light is out. We are ready for turn. Okay, I can see you now. 2,551 uh, heading, Captain. That's correct. Let's turn. Okay, heading uh, 180 to the right, please. Turning 180 to the right. That's correct. So I have two um, two systems in the compass, and the the white one with the white one I can adjust the runway heading, and then it's easy for me to turn 90 degree and 90 degree again. So now I'm turning it 90 degree again. So finally we are now turning 180 degree to the opposite direction. And I can see the river here, you're almost crossing the river. And I think this river called Viljul River. Viljul, yeah. It's beautiful and so green. So uh, this afternoon we are taking some passengers with us. It's Ian Polito and C. Rawar and Rainy Karen. Hello everyone and to all my kababayans, kumusta po kayo? Di ko alam ginagawa ko rito, pero rock and roll. <laughs> I'm speaking in Tagalog. I'm just in the airport view and I see that there is a helicopter on the runway. Uh, is this D3M? It's a 3M, yes. Is it a helicopter or airplane? It's the big ME6 helicopter. Looks like airplane. Yeah, the symbol is an airplane, but it's a helicopter. Okay. Okay, we're fly flying really uh, uh, high, 3,000 feet, and uh, Captain is now heading 200 at this moment, so he's, he needs to turn a little bit more. The aircraft is still turning, yeah. That's good. So we left uh, Nurva Airport and it's in Yakut Yakutia. It's a very uh, small town and it's beautiful. Yeah, I can see the airport now from outside. Uh, near yeah, the, yeah, it's near the river, yeah. River and uh, I just learned, uh, yeah, in Yurva, uh, mining uh, diamonds and coal and gold are um, the income of people there. How you call it, the main industry. Yep. Forestry, light, indu light industry, and agriculture are the, are the major natural resources. Include diamonds, gold, and brown coal. And mosquitoes. <laughs> and mosquitoes. <laughs> I don't like mosquitoes. Anyway, mosquitoes don't see me, so. Yeah, in the summertime it's horrible. So I see some mountains uh, coming up a little bit, so I will go to 15,000 feet now. <laughs> okay. So the, I can see that D3M is still flying close to you at this moment and uh, not so high from you. Okay, Stevens, I can see from here it's uh, beautiful again scenery and sometimes I get distracted because I keep looking down, which is I see the river and all kind of greenery outside and it's so beautiful. Please try to fly with us and just download Mumble. I will help you. Yeah, that's really a great um, chance to get into the flight. I'm, in, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Where are you? And it's really making fun, yeah. Yeah, especially if I can give you the right heading, right? Yes, heading. What <laughs> he should we turn? At this 
moment um, you are two three one you can yeah you're two three two seventy which is uh, maybe like fifteen more degrees turning to two seven zero yes because I want to see the the river closer and if you go if you cross I can see more of it. So, so right now, uh, Catherine, how long uh, does it, uh, the flight take us to the other airport? I'm just checking the internal computer and uh, put in the route manager, put in the destination airport, Uniform Echo Roger Roger. Yes. And the runway, I think, is uh, the runway 24? 24? Yes. Okay, so we have a distance of uh, 120 miles, nautical miles, which is about 210 kilometer. Oh, that's long. Okay, well, we're gonna enjoy while we are waiting. So, okay. our, so our speed at the moment is uh, 500 kilometer per hour, and we will increase the speed when we are getting higher. Yeah, when we are higher, then we have more speed. Okay, that's good. So the flight will be 30 minutes maximum. I will wait. And uh, even though I'm doing this flying with him, I'm still nervous. My hands sweating and I still have like so much adrenaline. Um, as long as I can give him the right heading, I'll be really, really happy. So I, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm going to try again. <coughs> it's beautiful up here, really beautiful, we get to try, and Amek, whenever you are online, please let me know, because you missed this this one, and uh, for Ian Polly, Rainy Karan, and um, C. Rawar, from the Philippines, and from, I think the other one is from Russia, I cannot remember, enjoy the flight guys, hope you enjoy this. Yeah, and for all your great uh, pleasure. Um, I will take now a 5 to 10 minute break from speaking and uh, put a stone on the push to talk button and it's also a break for you Sunny Life now you can mm -hmm. go you can go outside to smoke a cigarette or something and then come back or watch uh, what happens now it will be a little surprise for everybody so have a nice 10 minute Break with me now. All right, enjoy, guys.
thing. That was really beautiful. It's beautiful, very soothing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's really cool. You should put four on those on Steam. It's, be it's really beautiful. So, what's with our heading? Are we on the right way? Okay, now 270. If we, ha we, we have to change our heading to 236. Through 236. 236. Two three six. A four. Yes, I can see you're changing. <coughs> so, <coughs> so we have um, the automatic landing system in Mirni. So we need the information for the compass and for the instruments. Do you have any information about it? Okay, I got here two three six heading and one one zero. Moment, moment. Uh, what? What? Okay, two three six is the heading. Two three six. One one zero. Moment. I have set now two three six in the heading and the frequency. Frequency one one zero. Decimal three. One one zero decimal three. Affirm. That's correct. So I'm checking the magnetic variation again. It's only twelve degree now. <coughs> so now the we check the heading again. Is the heading correct? Yes. Approximately, you are now two three seven. But if you can move a little bit, two three six. One degree to the left. Okay, two, three, six now. Affirm. Yes, that's better. So, Estimios, I can see here is a there's a small rigger approaching uh, the another airport, and after a few minutes, we're gonna land. And if you ask me how am I doing, I'm still nervous. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we got a little problem in the um, cockpit um, when I was uh, using the route manager for the destination airport. The system shut it down my uh, altitude of 15,000 feet and it was not going to 15,000 feet. So we are still in 5,000 feet. and. So we are 130 kilometers away from the airport still now. Okay. I can see the, the airport from here and the lakes and uh, it's, beautiful. it's really beautiful, uh, the greenery. I don't get, get distracted this time, I'm just focused, but I get really surprised from your music today. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's uh, what I want to do in the in the future more often, to make um, music or to make a conversation about uh, shamanic things. So that uh, will also be very interesting. The shamanic culture here in Siberia is quite amazing. Uh? There is no uh, there is no break in the history, so that's a continuously ongoing culture. The 70 years of the Russian repression uh, was a hard time for the shamans and for the cultures, but uh, they have survived and they have survived in the secret. And now, since 15, 20 years, everything is coming up. And when you go to any town, village, or anything, you always will find a lot of festivals and uh, tradition. And uh, the people like to have the clothes from the past, and that's really amazing. And they are so proud of the culture. And the culture is really a very, very old culture from the shamans, and they practice it nearly every day. Yeah? So in the newspaper, you get uh, a lot of articles about shaman. The shaman has said this and that. and 
this uh, building there was five shamans and celebrated something like this then you have this every day yeah also in the news in the news in the television the shaman is every day in all news yeah, that's, that's really interesting captain sorry to interrupt but uh, maybe someday you can make a post out of it because i don't have much idea about uh, shaman and siberian culture and uh, yakutia Maybe you can make posts out. It's very interesting, really. Yeah, I told a lot of things in my Yakutia travel um, posts, which are about uh, 30 parts. There are hundreds of pictures and a lot of stories. Maybe I have to dig in again, dig out your articles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And in the very, very beginning of my steamed time in, in January, I started um, a different uh, travel um, adventure from my first travel. And, but I stopped this after three or four parts because all my pictures are not digital, they are all in DIA and I still not have converted them into DIA. So when I have converted them into the, uh, in, into digital, then I will uh, continue this uh, first travel. And this was really an amazing travel for me. So I will not uh, tell anything in front of it now. So that the posts then are much more interesting. Yeah, we'll wait for it, uh, Captain. And I think, yeah, it's really interesting, rich in culture in Bulgaria or in the uh, Balkan region. I've seen also a lot. And uh, when was the last time that you've been in Siberia? Uh, it was 2009. Are you planning to go back again there just for a bit? <clears throat> I have a lot of uh, dreams about uh, different destinations. So I'm invited to Buryatia, also again to Kakassia, of course to different parts in Yakutia to the northern region of the Krasnoyarsk region, to the Yevenki culture. So I have a lot of invitations and I meet some uh, shamans from these uh, regions and I have the addresses and the information. So <coughs> if I can go, I will go in any moment. Wow, that's going to be exciting for sure for you and uh, yeah. So one, one big problem is, of course, the language, the Russian language, which I, yeah, I, I could speak really, really good, but uh, with five years, no practice, uh, there are lots, a lot of words are going away. And I think before I go to Siberia again, I have to study again. So uh, at the moment, we are 77 kilometers away from the airport. Yeah, and your heading is correct, 237, which is we can adjust a little bit later when we approach the small lakes. I may just a short um, cheating and look if the heading is correct. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Maybe one degree to the left later. Are you okay with five degree? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, then the travel will be one minute shorter. <laughs> it's only one minute. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We are still, uh, we have now 28 minutes into the video. Oh, not so bad. Our altitude is 10,000 feet. Speed is, the airspeed is 300 uh, knots, which is about 550 kilometer per hour. And the ground speed, the speed on the ground is 650 kilometer per hour. And I forget to ask you, how's the weather today? The outside temperature is minus 10 degree now. 
we have no clouds and there is just a little bit of dust The time is uh, five minutes to twelve o'clock in the in the noon. Right now, at this moment, there. Yes. <coughs> so we have live weather conditions, but uh, we have changed the time because the time now in Yakutia is at the night and the flight will be a little bit more boring than it is anyway. But um, with a dark outside, you can see really one hour nothing. Okay. Wow, that's uh, really interesting. Uh, Captain, can you check the heading now? It's 242. My heading is 242, yes. That's correct. I'm starting to descend now, a slowly descend. Okay. For um, saving some fuel. So I go to a descent rate of uh, three or four meter per second. Okay. Which will increase our speed again. And it's uh, 43 kilometer to go, so it's about 30 miles. So we are not far away from the airport. <coughs> okay. This means I go to a much more higher descending rate. In the beginning, in the beginning of the ILS, I should be at uh, 7,000 or 6,000 feet. So you maybe give me the. You see now how I'm descending, and uh, we should maybe descend a little bit faster. Okay, you are now on 242, but I think you have to go more to the right in order for you to catch the, the runway. Can you manage to do that, like 30 degrees? 30 degrees to the right? Yes, so you can uh, ride straight to the runway. Turning 30 degrees to the right. Okay. And you have to go more, <coughs> maybe more 30 or 60 degrees to the right. Turning 30 degree more to the right and I can see the runway. So we have 8100 feet now. And I'm increasing my descending rate now drastically. Okay, I think you can decrease some more, 30 or 15. I'm reducing my throttle. Going again, 20 degree to the right. Seven thousand one hundred feet now. So it's okay to approach the ILS uh, in five thousand feet. Okay, your heading is now three two three, and uh, if it the IL the ILS is one one zero decimal three, heading two three six. Yeah, we have set this information, so it's for me just uh, pushing of two buttons. Okay. So, so from here I can see the lake now at this moment, it's uh, really long and beautiful and after a few minutes we're going to approach the, uh, the runway. So I have pressed the, uh, the navigation button now in the autopilot, so now the aircraft will turn full automatic to the runway and now I'm pressing the approach button 
and now the glide slope will be activated and the aircraft will now descend exactly to the runway. I can see that you're turning now. Yeah, we, are, we are reducing the speed now. It's now 200, 230, and we're reducing it more. And then we set out the flaps. One flap, right. one flap is set now. The second flap is activated. And I'm seeing the runway now coming up. Gears are out now, <coughs> landing light is on. Okay, uh, I can see the airplane is now descending, uh, decreasing also. Yeah, in, in the right uh, heading. <coughs> yeah, the, the autopilot um, is adjusting ref la right and left and right and left and in the final now we got the right heading. The wind is um, 10, 10 knots from the right. So we will not um, fly directly to the runway. The aircraft is a little bit uh, orientated to the right. Yes, I can see that. And, uh, is Mirni a small town also, Captain? Oh, Mirni is a not so small town. And we see the big hill from the mining company, which is one of our um, points of interest in the next uh, videos, in one of the next videos. So we are approaching now the runway. Okay guys, have fun. And uh, Captain is now concentrating to, to, to land. Um, aircraft is descending. So Auto, auto uh, Autopilot is deactivated now. Gear and flaps check again. Landing light is on ready for landing on runway 24 in Mirni. Okay, we're going to land now in a few minutes, second. Hey, the boom, you got it. We are down, reverser is activated. We are slowing down the aircraft now. From the tower view, we see the aircraft uh, rolling in and stopping. Now I can see from here uh, the, air, the airplane is uh, the aircraft is now London, and this runway is bigger than the other one in New York. So this is, this is more spacious than the other runway. That's a really normal big runway. Yeah. This is longer, is it? Yeah, it's uh, it's for all kinds of aircraft. That's cool! Wow! Now we landed, and uh, captain is just parking the, the, the aircraft. So, and as always, we go to a little replay for the landing. So we are in the replay now. <coughs> and let's watch how I did it. So
So you see the aircraft is a little bit uh, orientated to the right because of the wind. So we have to compensate the wind and in the last seconds <coughs> we get it correct. That's cool. Good job. <laughs> so we have seen the landing now. So, and with this uh, beautiful pictures, uh, we will shut down the video and I hope everybody liked it and see you next time. And thank yeah, you, yeah. thank you very much, uh, Sunny Life, for your uh, comments and yeah, it was so beautiful. Yeah, thank you too and uh, I hope the other Siemens will come and join you too in the future and uh, enjoy guys, bye bye.